The 2010 Foster G. McGaw Prize is proudly presented by the Baxter International Foundation, the American Hospital Association, and the Health Research and Educational Trust. In our community, we want to be able to make very clear that while we have the capacity of an acute care hospital, which is the meaning behind the Blue H sign, that we also have a significant responsibility for the well care model and the passion for wellness. Our vision is to become the healthiest community in Michigan. We're not today, and we have a long way to go. But some of the rewards are, are seeing the metrics, uh, the data, illustrate that we're, we are improving, that we are embedding cost curves, that we are improving health metrics for our community. I think that the investment that we've made as a health system and our people has given them esteem, a sense of hope, a sense of being worthy of investing in, and I think that that has raised the level of optimism in the community. We see the things that you typically associate with lower income populations. We see heavy smoking rates. We see low college att attainment. Um, diabetes rates are high, obesity. Uh, Project Access is a great example of uh, the, the, the medical community and the hospital getting together and figuring out how are we going to take care of this at-risk population. Before Project Access, I didn't have any coverage at all. Um, years ago, I was able to get uh, state coverage. If I'm sick, I'm not high functioning. So it is great to be healthy. And I, and I do feel healthy every day, and it is because of the program. The bottom line is the patient, the individual, the ability for that patient to be able to get medical care and take their very precious economic resources and allocate it to other needs that they have. Could you imagine if you had an entire community where most of the employers promoted better health, not just provide health care benefits? Workplace wellness makes so much sense. So we actively find ways that we can invest in our employees and it's your life as a natural fit. At the beginning of the program, I was at the heaviest weight I'd ever been. And uh, I recognized uh, high blood pressure runs on my side of my family. It's not just about feeling good, but it's about doing the things that are going to last. So I continually try to strive to drive that wellness number up. For business, that's a bottom line issue because people, if they're here and working and feeling good and happy about themselves, uh, they're more productive. Another great system that the hospital has put in place is the Community Medication Assistance Program so that folks who do not have prescription coverage are able to get the medications they need. We average 2,888 patients a year. We fill approximately 30,000 prescriptions in a year, and that equates to about $3 million worth of medication going out to our community. Um, CMAT is so critical to my, my quality of life, being able to provide the medicine to me that I need. I just can't imagine what my life would be like without the program. It's priceless. We started with programs that made sense. So if the laundromat is the place that we're going to be able to approach a population that has a health need in the way that they need it, then we can design a program that is really going to be much more effective than inviting them to the hospital for a class. Um, I actually got pregnant at 15, so I'm a teenage mom. I'm 19 now, and I have a three-year-old daughter. I live in low-income housing, so the, the two free loads of laundry was, was what got me interested. Helped me find housing, everything. The, they give you information for anything and everything that you could need for a, a baby. So knowing that there is help out here and there's resources, it's really good for the community. I feel very strongly about this program. I love it a lot. So hopefully we can get a lot done with the community. What we have in Jackson, I think, is a coordinated approach. Uh, Georgia and the governance at the hospital understands and appreciates what a community health center offers, both in terms of the level of services 
and the reimbursement that's available to us, for example. And by understanding that, they want to promote it and make sure that we as a community are taking full advantage of it because we are partners. Without being well, you don't get to work, you don't you don't get a lot of things. So if I come down with a cold or or a bronchitis or something every day that needs treatment, that I can go and be treated and get better and get on with my life and go back to work and stay productive and, and stay well for my child. Because being well for my child is, is by far my most important job in this world. The value of the Foster McGall Award for us has been looking back at what we have invested in the community, the return that we've had, the um, pride that we share in uh, our contributions to the Jackson region, and then more importantly, looking at what we're going to do going forward. In collaboration with numerous local partners, Allegiance Health demonstrates every day its unwavering commitment to the health and well-being of its community. So congratulations to the team at Allegiance Health and to all the 2010 finalists for leading the way to a healthier America. We're proud of you. Congratulations to the 2010 winner, Allegiance Health, Jackson, Michigan. We also honor the finalists, Augusta Health, Fishersville, Virginia, Palmetto Health, Columbia, South Carolina, Wrangell Medical Center, Wrangell, Alaska.